At age 36, I was diagnosed with stage four gastric cancer. I've been lucky, I had su have support. It would be, I, don't, I can't imagine how hard it would be for someone who didn't have the support like I do. So now, instead of being in, you know, a mum with an active role in their care, I was sitting back and watching. You still get joy being with your kids, but there's just like this little um, cloud of sadness that follows you every, every day. It's just the emotional side of, side of it. Um, it's probably the worst part of this, having my children and knowing that I won't be there. That's, sorry. Um, that's the hardest part, I think. Yeah, being pregnant made everything more complicated with testing and things. When the diagnosis came, it was clear I, I, I wouldn't be able to survive a pregnancy and the baby wouldn't survive a pregnancy. Charlie was born at 18 weeks, um, a little girl, yeah. She's got a garden <laughs> over there. It's, it's been a roller coaster the last four weeks. It, this diagnosis, especially stage four, it, you, you try and find hope and, and it's definitely there, but then sometimes it gets taken away. You know, when you diagnose, you don't want to be constantly doing all this research <laughs> into, into cancer. You kind of just want a little break from it. I've been really lucky with my family. They kind of take on that role for me. But it's really comforting to know that Pancare have kind of got your back for advocating for people with upper GI cancers. They're helping raise money because really raising money is one of the most important things with this. You need money to, for, for research and to do these clinical trials and to help families like us who are yeah, battling these cancers. It just helps bring the community together, raise awareness for families with upper GI cancers and to help raise money for, for treatments and hopefully that can get us to better survival rates in the future. It is difficult to open up but I want to do it so others on the same journey don't have to walk it alone.